what's going on everyone welcome back to another episode of car mechanic simulators andrew here and uh today we're in the muscle car shop but we are not working on the muscle car series what we're doing is we're just doing another car yes this is my collection so far uh here's my could technically be a zl1 camaro but they call it the mosquito bolt mosquito mk5 i believe this one is yep okay and here is a fmw sentinel 93 you know it's a supercharged edition that's why i grabbed it and then we have this the chieftain tbx or pontiac tempest and i'm not entirely sure what i'm doing with this one yet I don't know if I'm going to restore this one or if I'm going to make it a full-blown race car, which I already have, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. Why don't you, why don't you drop a comment telling me what you all think we should do with it. And since we only got like uh, a few more subscribers to go until we reach the goal for to be doing a live stream, maybe I might save this for a live stream. And we'll start right from nothing and work our way up. Anyway, our current project that we're going to be working on in this episode is in here. There she be, right there. There's the F F3 Fitty, right there. And I'm slowly accumulating parts for it. You know, I got a door, got the hood. And I got a few parts for it, fender. Um, but yes, we're going to be working on a 1992 Mazda RX-7. It has the 13B twin turbo. It's going to be a beautiful car when she's done. Oh yeah. I have a vision of what it's going to look like when it's done. And it's going to turn out pretty darn good, I might have to say. Anyway, we're going to start first by working on the motor. That's what we're going to do. Look at this little thing, huh? <laughs> just, just cute little motor, isn't it? All right let's continue the build it i put the crankshaft in and the uh, middle housing is what it's called so let's put in the rotor housings one there let's put in two plugs and let's put that fuel filter in way down there or it might be at the top i'm not sure it could be upside down right now put the other rotor housing in I can't remember if I only got one or two of these. Hey, we got two. Look at that. We're ahead of the game here. Now we're going to put the front housing on. Front side housing. And we're going to come to the back. We're going to put the other rotor in. With the rear housing. Rear side housing block. And we're going to put the flywheel. Right here. And we're going to put the clutch plate. Pressure plate. Put all five bolts in and now we're going to put the release bearing in perfect and we're going to go all the way down here we're going to throw the oil filter on and we're going to put the exhaust manifold on all chromed out and look at that we've got turbos we got the turb skis twin turbo look at that sign these turbos almost anyway now we're going to put the sprocket on then we're going to put the crankshaft counterweight with the timing chain rot 13b rew i'm not entirely sure what the rew means but i'm going to put timing cover i'm going to put the oil pan Now we're going to flip the motor over. I guess we were working bottom up. Bottoms up everyone. And now we're going to go to the front here. We're going to put on a bracket. Arm A. And we're going to put arm B. And it's going to house the V6B power steering pump. 
And we're going to put idler B on. And we're going to put the water pump. Perfect. Now keep in mind, all this blue is all the same blue. Alternator. Crankshaft pulley. Now we're going to put the another idler B on. We're going to put belt A. Idler A. A belt B. Come on now. There we go. We're going to put another idler A in. We're going to work our way this way. And we're going to put the coil pack on. Now we're going to put the plug wires in. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the intake manifold B or lower intake manifold. Now the, we're going to put the fuel rail in. Perfect. Now we're going to put the intake manifold I in place. Well, four bolts in. Now the throttle. And I believe that would be it for this little thing. Such a tiny little motor, isn't it? So cute. <laughs> Just a tiny little thing. Almost looks like something I'll be in a snowblower. Alright, now we're going to go over to the car. And now the teardown process. Up, up, and away. Perfect. Pick up the drive shaft. Ah, I always get stuck with one bolt, huh? Alright, now we're going to take out the arm. The rear suspension arm. There we go, take out the big bushing. Perfect. Let's take out the rear drive axle. And the bearing, the caliper. That's not a good sign. Both one of the caliper bolts is a little rusty. They got the rotor, the rear wheel hub, the backing plate. Work our way around here. We're gonna take the rear shock absorber cap off. I'm gonna take the spring off. The spring cap, this arm, I'm going to take the upper arm off, always got to have that rusty bolt, wouldn't, wouldn't, be, wouldn't be a day in the life of this if it wasn't, wasn't no rusty bolts. Now we're going to take the rear shock absorber A off, after we release the rust on the bolt, perfect. Now i got a front arm here lower arm up in the front and then reach around and grab it both bolts are rusty on this one i'm going to take the knuckle knuckle housing a off and take out the big bushy the other big bushy we're going to work our way and we're going to take the, another big bushy note right here i'm going to take this arm off tire Bye bye. Now these are 17s. Uh, we're going to be upgrading the size of the wheel. Uh, we're not going to be running 17s. We're actually going to be running 21 inch wheels. Uh, we are not going to be running stock Mazda wheels. We're going to be running something a little bit different. A wheel I haven't used in a very, very long time. Take off the drive axle. Rear sway bar and link. Uh, bye bye. Uh, the rear shock absorber cap gone. The rear spring. See you later. Spring cap. Bye bye. We got the bushing. Come on now. You too. We don't want you no more. We got the sway bar. Rear sway bar B. The other lower arm in the rear. Enhancing a bit. I got the little bushing. 
uh, we can get rid of this cross member now, I guess. Bye bye. Come around here. We're gonna pop this bearing out. The caliper. And the pad. The rotor. Rear wheel helm. Backing plate. And now this. Bye bye. Worker. We don't need this in there. Let's get rid of that. It's in our way, man. We're going to take out the gearbox. 13B. Now we're going to take the wheel off. Once we spray down that lug nut or bolt, whatever you want to call it. Perfect. Take the caliper off. Bus cap. Wheel bearing. Brake pad. Brake rotor. Wait, where are we going here? Let's back up. Back up here a minute. Backing plate. Outer tie rod. Inner tie rod. Lower control arm. Let's spray out one of the frame mounting bolts. Or cross member mounting bolts, we should say. We're going to swing around this way. We're going to take that off. Ooh, both bolts are rusty. Oh no! Whatever shall we do? <laughs> we'll get them off. Take out this big bushing. This one too. Come on. Come on now. We don't want you. Work our way over to the... I must take the tire off, right? Hey, look at that. No rusty bolts. I'm going to take out the wheel bearing, the other caliper, rotor, wheel hub, see, I got too cocky, and uh, what happened is I was bragging about the wheel, and with me bragging about the wheel, I got a rusty wheel hub bolt, happens, right? I'm going to take out the other, other tie rod. The other inner tie rod. Lower control arm. Steering knuckle A. Steering rack. Sway bar. The big bushing. The other big bushing. This. And now we drop the car down. Well, we drop it down. We gotta bring over some stuff, like the welder, the cherry picker, or engine hoist, whatever you prefer to choose. And we're gonna pull the motor. And bye bye. And we'll go in our inventory of parts. Take off the air box type A lid. The air filter and the air type A air box itself. Uh, we're going to work our way over here. We're going to go the A relay, the B relay, the other B relay. Enhance in a bit. C fuse, A fuse, the other A fuse. And let's take out the B as well. Let's take out this last A. Going to get rid of this. And I believe, I believe it is time to, uh, we, we need that there still. We're going to use this. Yeah, sure, why not? 1400 bucks. Let's watch it clean up. It's like a bluey gray color. I guess it would be. I guess, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. Let's remove that steering wheel. We don't want it there no more. Perfect. Go back to normal mode. And I think we're pretty much done with this. Now let's buy some parts. No, no, oh, wait, 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 wait. But trunk B. Sure, let's grab that. Why not? Let's come into here. Let's grab the front bumper, left door, left window, left fender, right door, right door window. 
I already got the right fender. Let's get the mirror, the right headlight, rear bumper, left taillight, left mirror, left headlight, hood, right taillight, we already got a trunk, trunk window, and windshield. Let's run this over to the paint shop. Perfect. Look at how small that thing is, huh? All right. Now we're going to start installing stuff. I'm trying to see. Oh, it's going to be stubborn, isn't it? Y'all can't see that yet. <laughs> it's kind of going to be the color of the car, so can play a little sne sneaky sneaky. I'm going to put in this door now. Windshield. That mirror. The window. The trunk. The glass. Left tail light. Rear bumper. I'm going to put that on. A mirror and the glass. And I'm gonna pull this. I'm gonna actually pull the hood. We're gonna do that a different color. All right. Let's paint the car. There it is. There's the color. What the? Oh, nothing there. Yeah, did Yeah, did Yeah, did Perfect. We're going to put this over at test path. And we're going to take this mirror, this mirror. We're going to run over here, back to the paint shop. We're going to do the hood and the mirrors. All right, first we're going to do the hood. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe silver with the blue. Hmm. Now nah, we're going to go with the black. And same with the mirrors. We're going to go a little bit different, you know what I mean? Match, we're going to have the mirrors match the hood. Perfect. Run over this way. Run back to the car. And we're going to try it on the car first. Oh yeah. And the mirrors. Kind of looks a little sporty, doesn't it? Alright, I'm going to bring this back over to car lift B, that's where it was. And now we start building the car. Yip, 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 yip. First things first, let's put the catalytic converter in. Middle muffler. The exhaust pipe. Rear muffler V8. See? We're going to put in the fuel tank. With the fuel pump. Hmm, got a few aftermarket ones there, I see. Cross member. With the bigger bushing. I'm going to put the other three big bushings in. Uh, wrong, wrong part, but okay. Kind of jumped the gun there a little bit. Dang, I only wish I could clean the rust off of the uh, sway bars and get them rebent. I don't really think you can do that. I don't think we can. I've tried. They won't let me. I said I'm not good enough for that yet. Put in the little, bu the little bushing. Put in the rear sway bar and link. 
Perfect. The upper arm. The rear shook. The rear arm. The back one. Put in the spring cap. Wrong one there, Skippy. One of these days I'll start paying attention to them. I'm going to put in the spring. The rear shock absorber cup. Work our way around to the front. Put in the lower arm. And now we're going to put in the actual arm itself. Now we're going to put the big bushing in. Perfect. Now we're going to put the backing plate. Got a few of them. I got to use them on different cars. And now we're going to put the wheel bearing. With the drive axle. And the rotor. I only put this rotor on because I'm trying to save weight. Caliper. Now the wheel. Y'all get to see what we're doing. Let's take a little stand back here. I think that's going to look very good on there. Oh yeah. Wheel might be a little too big for it, but eh, you know, eh, it'll, it'll grow on us. Put the upper arm in. We're going to swing around to the back side here. We're going to put the little bushing in. On the back of the steering knuckle A. Or rear knuckle housing A, I should say. Now we're going to put this arm on. Perfect. Put the spring cap. The spring. And now the rear shock absorber cap. Which goes right here. Perfect. We're going to swing around to the front here. Well, actually, first off, we're going to put the uh, rear sway bar and link in. With the bolt. Now we're going to put the shook. The lower arm in the front. And the little bushings. Now we're going to put this arm in. Perfect. I'm going to put this bigger bushing in. I'm going to put the backing plate. Wheel hub. And then the wheel hub bearing. The drive axle. R rota. Carbon ceramic. With the brake pad. Now the wheel. Perfect. Slide our way up to the front here. We're going to put the steering rack in first. And the sway bar, which goes right here. Perfect. Put the outer or inner tie rods in, I should say. Get a little mixed up, confused there. Both sides. I'm going to put cross member H in. H for heck yeah. Perfect. I'm going to put this other bigger bushing in. This one too. Perfect. We're going to go to the steering knuckle A. I'm going to put the new one in. Then the outer tie rod. Lower control arm. the strut or front shock absorber A whatever you want to choose put the sway bar A in or sway bar in link A the backing plate Z wheel hub with the wheel bearing you know, gotta have wheel bearing put the dust cap in perfect the rotor the payhead Caliper at the cylinder. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Now we're cooking my gas, man. I'm going to put the other wheel on. 
We're going to stretch our way over here to the passenger side. Steer knuckle A. Strut A. Now we're going to put the outer tie rod. Or, wow, I'm way off on that one. Now, how about we put the um, sway bar in link A and that could, that could be an idea, you know. Now we can put the outer tie rod in. Lower control arm. Backing plate. Wheel hub. Perfect. Wheel hub bearing. Beautiful. Dust cap. Rota. Brake pad. And the brake, cal brake caliper cylinder. Pretty good. I'm going to put the wheel in. Really wish that I could paint all these little little Allen head bolts there. I think it was like three piece wheels or something like that. Two or three piece. I think they're two. This ring bolts onto the outer hoop here. I mean, it's all good. Take a peek seat now. Let's lower this down. Heck yeah, man. That's good stuff right there. Wheels all stick in. Well, the rears are pretty flush. The front stick in. Now, these wheels, the size of these wheels on this car right now are 265, 25, 21. What came with the car, as you can see, factory tire size, 235, 45, 17s. So we've increased the size drastically. Alright, now we're going to pop the hood. And we're going to do some work under here. I'm going to start over here at the fuse box. Put that one in play. We've got to put the two A relays in. And we've got three B relays along with three C's. The seat, once the relays go in, then we work on the fuses. A. B. Probably B again. Yep. Then we got A. Yep. Another A. I just want a B. Yep. And then we got the last one here, which is going to be a C. Perfect. Put the cap on. Or the lid, whatever you want to call it. Put the mass cylinder in. Perfect. We're going to put the computer in. ECU. And we're going to put the power, the windshield washer jug in. Which, you know, it's something we don't got. You know, I know I bought one, but we don't. it says we don't. So, whatever. We'll purchase one. Got to go all the way to the back of the list. Got to order it up. And we got to wait for it to show up. It's getting to be near near the end of the day, so it takes a little longer to get the parts here. Come on now, let's go. There we go. But while we're waiting for it to show up, we can put the coolant reservoir C in. C over there. We we'll work our way over here. We're going to put the power steering reservoir in, radiator A, and the dual fan setup. It'll help keep it cool, and we're going to put the uh, pipe A air box in our air filter base type a along with the air filter and now the air filter lid or cover as they call it and then we're going to put the clip b's in that's right i got them all i didn't forget the clips that's what i understand why i forgot that it boogles my mind perfect uh, let's put the battery in. I could probably build the car right here, but, you know, whatever. I guess I could. Mm, or build the motor, I mean, right here in the car. Alright. 
We're going to bring over the engine hoist. Carlos B. And we're going to go get this little motor. We're going to rotate the motor around. So oil pan up for the next motor. Perfect. And come on over here. We're going to put the motor in. Beautiful. I mean, look at that. Just look at it. Would you look at it? Perfect. Now we're going to put this up. And while we're waiting for that, let's see if we can't find ourselves some interior. Let's see now. The RX-7. Bench RX-7. Right there, RX-7 Leather 1. I don't understand why they're calling it Leather 1 when there's only one here. Crazy, crazy thing. Now uh, we're going to put... these in I guess they got separate RX-7 seats yes they do right here and look like so hmm yeah we're gonna try with these ones and then the, do they have a separate steering wheel for the RX-7 yes they do right here hmm. put the M3 wheel in it's got a flat bottom on it. Perfect. But that'll come when we go to get the jug. Alright, now we're going to put the gearbox in. The starter. And now we're going to put this front exhaust section in. Perfect. Now we're going to put the drive shaft in. I'm pretty sure we're basically almost done. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this over to test path. Take a little gander at it. I think it's looking pretty darn good. Almost looks like it's ready to tear up the racetrack. We're going to go out here, we're going to come around over yonder, and look for our parts. Oh, well, here's the seats right here, got them, now where's the jug? The jug, where are you jug? Um, there it is, it's in here, perfect. Alright, we got everything we need. Perfection. We'll pop the hood. We'll put that jug in way over there. Just like that. Now we're going to start putting fluid in it. We're going to start right here at the coolant tank. And we're going to put some coolant in it. That should be enough. And we're going to put some brake fluid in it. Now we know, we can stop. Perfect. And it probably could have went a little bit more, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Now we're going to put some power steering fluid in it. Perfect. Now we're going to put some oil on it. Perfect. Now it flows out and we'll check the level. Oh, a little too much. Wipe that off. What's our level at? Perfect. Let's see, we got brake fluid, we got coolant, we got power steering fluid, we got oil. And I guess this will be right here, be the last thing right here. Hmm. Slide on over. Perfect. Just about done. Beautiful. And now we're going to put some seats in it.
We start with the rear seat first. Perfect. And put in that seat. This seat. And put in the steering wheel. Now hop on in. Actually, that fits in there darn good, I might have to say. Oh, uh, I think we're going to fire this thing up. <laughs> I love turbo noises, huh? Perfect. Hey, we got it's got power mirrors, power door locks, or windows. I mean, I'm guessing power door locks too. What have we got down over yonder? Maybe that's for the windows. No, that would be. Uh, can't see. I forgot my glasses. All right, we're gonna close the hood on it. 100, 90, 100, 100. Now it's only 90 on the body because we don't have license plates on it. Alright, now I'm going to give it an alignment for the wheels. Perfect. All the way over here. Beautiful. We're going to align the headlights. Slide it to the left just a bit. Slide it on down. Perfect. Oh, got a headlight. Slide to the right. And up, perfect. Now let's go see how much power this thing makes. To the engine, or to the dyno we go. Now before we adjust the ECU, I want to see what the percentage is on it. 2%. And let's see if we can't get it up a little bit higher. 3, 5, 6. Uh, Drop that down. Oh, two. Oh. We shall figure it out. Nine. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Put this there. Nine. Seven and a half. Nine. Mm. Seven and a half, nine, ten, sixteen. Sixteen percent increase. So that would be fourteen percent over where we would have started. Now, from factory, if it was a stock motor, it would have 291 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and 260 foot-pounds of torque at 5,300 RPM. We're sixteen percent increase in tuning plus all the performance parts that are in it. Let's see what we make. Off the chart. 518 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 440 foot-pounds of torque at 5,400 RPM. So it's a 227 horsepower increase and 181 foot-pounds of torque increase. Uh, 79% and 70%. Hmm. I guess that's okay. What's this thing away? Oh, wrong one. Wrong button there, man. Alright, let's go over here. Weighs 3,000, well, 2,900 pounds. At 500 horsepower. Eh. I mean, it'll probably move, but it ain't going very fast. And I thought about it, and I was going to do a red one, but I was like, eh, everybody does a red one. You know, everybody's trying to copy the uh, Vin Diesel Fast and Furious Supra. Or Supra. The RX-7 from the first Fast and Furious. You know? Yeah, there's wheels in here that I could match to look like his that were in that movie. And I could basically almost build this thing exactly like his. But I didn't want that. You know what I mean? I wanted my own. My own version of it. 
All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back over to Carlos B. Uh, right there. Perfect. Got to bring over the window tint. You know me. I got to tint all the windows on all the cars I build. It's almost like a trademark. Go we'll like so. Nice and dark. Make a limbo tint. Go to the windshield. Liven up the windshield just a bit. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to move this back. I'm going to swap this out with the Camaro. And I think she looks pretty darn good. I do, I do, I do. You know what? Let's take it as a Drake shirt. Why not? Drive the car to the Drake Street. We're class B, so I don't know. I think we're what? Level 336? I think. 361. Okay. Let's go all the way over here to King of the Sands. Eighth mile. I have no idea what anything is set up on this car. I didn't look. Hopefully it's just fast enough so we win. That's all that matters right now is winning, winning, winning. I always got to want to win. And we're pretty close to the top end of the class, so... We are about to proceed in championship with Mazda RX-7. Current setup, 8th mile, class B. Entry fee is 800 bucks. Sure! Oh great, we got the race of Lamborghini. Sweet. Even though those cars should be a class A, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Alright. Let's go win us some money. Dang, this thing just boogies. It's 757 at 101 mile per hour. We did a reaction time of 0 0.6. 60 footer mark. Or I guess that would be 60 foot. We're at 2.5. Yeah, a little slow, but whatever. It is what it is. Did 0 to 30 in 1.3 or 1.4. Did 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. 60 to 100 in 3.9 seconds. Alright, we might have a chance with this. Uh, we're racing next. Nicole Long's Bullhorn Grand Mojave Storm. Yay, that's a supercharged edition. Well, this should be interesting. I see if we win. We shall. Thing is, this car digs out pretty quick. I wonder what it would be like with slicks on it. Dang, bogged it down there. Not even getting out of third gear. We're a little bit slower because it kind of didn't shift it correctly, we'll say. Alright, now we're racing a hatchback Honda Civic. Joshua Hughes, Katagiri, Tamago, X Tech. And then we'll be racing the Jaguar F-Type next. Dang, this car just boogie woogie woogies. Kind of actually impressing me. Alright, so I told you we were racing the Jaguar F-Type next. Let's get her done. First showing, a win. Winning the championship with it, I'm pretty happy with that.
Oh, uh, if we were going quarter mile, I would have got him. Oh, I would have got him. I mean, we're, I can't really complain, you know what I mean? It's an RX-7. I mean, yeah, it's twin turboed, but it's only 518 horsepower. I wish I knew what kind of tuning that the Jaguar F-Type had on it. Should have clicked on info. Huh. Meh, it's what it is, you know what I mean? At least we made it to the finals. We're going to head back to the garage now. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm happy with it. Also, to keep in mind, we're on a street tire, more or less. You see what I mean? Like, we're not on slicks. If we were on slicks, we probably would have probably would have won you know what I mean so but all right that's gonna do it for this video thank you all very much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe hit the notification bell and we shall see y'all on the next one bye everyone